Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install PAS, which is one of the best mods on Stalker Anomaly. This tutorial is for Mod Organizer 2 and make sure you have patch 1.52 installed for Stalker Anomaly before you attempt to install Boomsticks and Sharpsticks. Boomsticks and Sharpsticks features a lot of weapons, tactical weapons, snipers, machine guns, shotguns, pistols, everything that you can imagine and allows you to customize your weapons and also have certain accessories like lasers but today i'm going to show you exactly how to install this on mod organizer 2 so let's begin so step one is to download boomsticks and sharpsticks you download it from mod db link description below under this video um, it might take a while for you because it's like six gigabytes also when you install it right it might take some time but it depends on your pc but that is the first step that you have to take so when you download boomsticks and sharpsticks uh, you open up the zip file or in this case it's a seven zip file and it's going to look like this you're going to have uh, this folder boomsticks and sharpsticks with the date of the latest update right and you click here you click over this folder and you're going to find all these folders and you're also going to find this text file now this is what confuses the people most all you have to do is you have we have to use this game data this is where the main mod is and then we have to use uh, b or a and these have exe files in them but first we're going to extract the game data so all i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a folder right here i'm just going to call it uh, bas new version newest version right uh, 02 october 2022 right so i just named folder and this folder is going to be the folder that's going to contain BIS so I open it up then I grab the game data and all I do is I drag it and I just drop it right inside this folder that's it so now all I have to do is I have to grab this folder which is the mod itself now and I press copy and then I go in my mod organizer, I go where I have my mods, and I simply paste it right in my mods, just like this. There it is, BS newest version, uh, 02 October 2002. By the way, you can name this whatever you want, just make sure that when you click it, you have the game data only inside. So you load up your mod organizer 2 and you find where you placed your BS folder which is for me it's right here but for you it might be at the bottom of the list but you can always change the positioning of your mods that's why I love mod organizer 2 so for example I can put it here or I can put it back here so you turn it on like that you can see it's giving me some conflicts here but that's normal and make sure that MCM menus up here. If you have some audio mods like GSRS, make sure it's just below MCM menu. And make sure that BAS is just under them because that will help a lot when it comes to loading the mod. Next thing we're going to do though is we're going to launch Stalker Anomaly in the bug mode because I'm gonna show you something which is the next step just do this right and if you have uninstalled uh, BAS for some reason maybe you have an old version of BAS or you screwed up something uh, make sure to also press this delete shader cache right here this will refresh the cache for your shaders in a stalker anomaly and it will create these new caches for you which will uh, make sure that all the textures and the models are working fine so as you can see i loaded up the game it says down here it says stalker anomaly 1.52 the bug mode 
and I'm actually gonna show you why I am in the bug mode so you can understand what is the next stage to install this mod correctly okay so I am in meadow this is where I like to test some of the mods so I am in the bug mode right and you should be in the bug mode so I want you to press F7 on your keyboard and you're gonna get this lovely menu now from editors list right here you have item spawner right I want you to click it and then down here you have weapons and I want you to click weapons SMG by the way if you are here it means you have successfully almost installed BAS because it's not it's not installed 100% yet and I'm gonna show you why so down here you should find a scorpion vs61 polymer BAS this is a new weapon that they added I want you to click on it and your character should automatically whip it put it here actually right so there is an exe file that we have to install because if you don't install it this is what what's going to happen so i aim right and when i shoot your character will automatically uh unzoom which is super annoying as you can see and it makes bas unplayable but this means also means that we have almost installed uh, BAS. So next I'm going to show you how to install these exe files into your uh, stock anomaly. Okay, so next thing is to install some of these uh, exe files. So there are special exe files inside these folders, folder B and folder A. They're basically uh, the stock anomaly exe files that you launch to load the game. I'm actually going to show you here. So for example, in folder A, we have all these exe files. And as you can see, they are DX8 or DXAVX. So AVX means multiprocessing. So if you have a CPU that's, let's say, a quad core or more, I recommend you to use an AVX. Else you should use something that's not an AVX. And obviously, you have to use a one of these exe files that matches your DirectX uh, launcher so for example if you use DirectX 10 in Stalker Anomaly you should use a DirectX 10 you shouldn't use a DirectX 11 because that will create problems so what's the difference between folder A and folder B so what are the differences so let's say you have DTLX right you want to use patch B engines with patches B if you don't have the TLX or you don't have a scope shader, then you want to use uh, A basically. You want to use Clear Engine A. So I have a scope shader and I also have the TLX. So I'm going to use B, right? So I'm going to click on B here. And next, I'm going to choose which of these exe files I'm going to use. So you can, you know, dump these exe files into your stalker normally, but that's going to overwrite them. And I don't really like that. In fact, what I usually do is I grab one of these, I rename them, and then I tell mod organizer to load them up for me. I'm actually going to show you how to do this because it's a lot safer for your stalker normally. So I'm going to use uh, Anomaly DX11AVX because that's what I usually use. So I grab it right and I'm right now I'm in my desktop, right? I'm just going to drag and drop it right here. You're going to see it boop, pop over there. As you can see, I have this exe file. Now, obviously, this is the wrong location to put it, but I'm just put it here because I want to give it a name. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. Uh, anomaly dx11 i'm just going to call it bas uh, video test right you can name it whatever you want but i recommend you to name it bas i don't know uh, b engine with patches for example because that's going to you know allow you to understand what exe file you're using and next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this or cut this i mean and then I'm going to put it inside my stalker anomaly folder. So I open up my stalker anomaly folder, which is here, right? So you don't put it right here. 
inside your stalker anomaly. Instead, you have to put it in stalker anomaly bin folder because that's where the exe files are. And you're going to see that I already have some uh, custom exe files there. So I put it right here, I paste it just like there. So remember, it's in your bin folder, which is in stalker anomaly uh, folder. Right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell Mod Organizer 2 to load this uh, custom exe file. So if I go here, where you see Stalker Anomaly Launcher, you press Edit right here. And then you have this plus here. I'm going to press plus and I'm going to press Add from File. Right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to locate where your Stalker Anomaly is. Usually it does this automatically. But uh, if it doesn't do it right, just try to find where exactly you installed it. So this is where my Stalker Anomaly is. And then I go bin. Then I find the exe file that I installed, which is Stalker Anomaly DX11 AVX BS Video Test. My God, that's a long name. Open. Right. And now look at that. I added this new exe file right here. Press OK. And then from this list, I don't go edit, right? I scroll down and then I have Anomaly DX11 AVX BAS Video Test. My God, that's a long name. <laughs> so I press run. Now, when you do this, you are skipping the Stalker Anomaly Launcher because you are telling the game, hey, I want to load this exe file and nothing else which, with my mods installed, right? So I do that. And as you can see, there's no launcher or anything. And I just wait until the game has launched. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to test if uh, you have installed everything correctly. Press new game here. My menu might look a little bit different, but that's fine. Uh, disable story mode and go to meadow, right? Don't worry about these weapons. You might see that you have some BS weapons already in your uh, custom loadout is really nice that shows you that something has worked and then press start okay so here we are again it's a little bit dark go outside so remember again press f7 press item spawner and remember we're just doing this to test if we installed everything correctly so we go smgs and we find this scorpion Okay, I give myself the scorpion by clicking on it. And so remember when I zoom in, it automatically zoomed out because I didn't have the exe file installed correctly. But now, as you can see, it's working fine. Let's test some other weapons. So we have this Archangel Remington kit. There's a lot of new weapons now and it's really nice. Hope you guys have found this tutorial helpful. Make sure to subscribe and like, it really helps the channel. And I'll see you for more videos on Stalker Anomaly. Bye and thank you for watching. Оружие за спину.